Hi everybody, it's Sandy. Welcome to my YouTube channel where today I want to talk about ethnic skin tones primarily with Copic markers but coloring the human rainbow. And I have been motivated to do this particularly by some recent events. This is 2015. We've had some racially motivated tragedies lately and in my little paper crafting world I can't do much to change the world but I can help us as a crafting community to start coloring maybe with a little bit of diversity. And that's why I'm going to be doing this tutorial today to talk about coloring different skin tones. And I have an image from Mama Elephant that I'm going to color today. It has lots of kids in it. And before I jumped into that, I thought I really want to do something that will maybe have some teaching elements along with it. And that is coloring the human rainbow, my little handout. This is a PDF that has, there's no coloring on it. It's all blank. And I do have one version with these numbers if you wanna download that one, or you can download one with no numbers in it. And you can use whatever markers you have to create your own rainbow of skin tones, or you can color it with other mediums. Whatever you wanna do is totally cool with me, but I thought this would be a great exercise for us as we start exploring different skin tones. And I have them going kind of from light to dark or light to medium to dark. And you can almost see different ethnicities in there a little bit. And if there are colors in between, you can vary them by the amounts of dark and light that you add in. And I'll show you a little bit of that as we go. Or you can swap some colors out. I'm going to use some of these exact combinations in the coloring today, but you can change them up. You can swap out some of those purples for browns, etc. And this was inspired by this photograph that I found on the National Geographic blog. And I'll link you to that article. It's really a great one. And you can go check that out. But the photograph just shows the variety of skin tones. We are a rainbow, big time. The, the human race is just so full of a variety of color. And if you look carefully, you can see some skin tones are a little more green, some a little more purple, some a little more blue. And they're all beautiful and I think we should incorporate more of that in our card making. So I'm gonna color all these kids with different color combinations from that chart. And I, I'll talk a little bit first about my technique with Copic markers, which is to first lay down the base color, whatever the lightest color is. And then I go in and add the dark shadows and then the medium tone, and then I blend it with the light. Now, if you are afraid of the blues and the purples, because that does seem crazy to a lot of people, then watch what happens when I add the medium tone over it. So here's the, the base color going on with this little girl. And then I'll add this purplish color to red, violet, purplish kind of, kind of shade. And most people would go, oh my gosh, she looks crazy, she looks purple. Well, look what happens when you add a brown over it. It just adds some richness to that brown that makes it look more realistic. And the same thing with the blues, the blue violets, all those different kinds of colors can change up the skin tones so they just have more life in them than just browns. And I am going to trim out this image, so please don't worry about me going outside the lines. But here I want to show you in, in this one and then the little girl I just colored what happens when we add more of one of the shades. So here I'm just going over this, this little kid the first time. I'll go over, jump over to this little girl and just add one more quick coat of the medium tone that I had colored her with and completely changed her. And here I'm gonna add more of a medium tone on this little kid and then blend it with the light and completely change that. So you can do that with any of these color combinations. So if yours don't come out looking like mine when you color them, that's potentially why, because we're, we're both using maybe different amounts of the dark and light colors. There's some like that little kid at the bottom that are very pinky peachy and that would be great for like a baby color little Caucasian baby or lots of different babies that, that they just tend to be little little brighter colors and then other colors will be a little dimmer a little darker that that little kid on the right is a little more on the green side but that's a realistic color in many places many ethnicities have a little more of that kind of a tone to them so each one of these kids you can tell is coming out looking completely different because I've just got a variety of shades now, if you don't own a lot of different shades, then try different combinations among the shades that you have and use different amounts of them because you can get a lot of variety with just a very few number of pens and not have to buy a bajillion of them. 
And while I'm talking about buying a bajillion of pens, I recently found out, um, got an email from Copic. A lot of you have been saying that you, you know, all the stores that you shop at have been out of them and they apologize. They're having issues with trying to get product in. So please don't yell at your stores. They're trying their best, but Copic's having trouble with getting enough product because they've become so popular that they just can't keep up with demand. So put stuff on your wish list and get ready for whenever your store does have markers. And a lot of stores now have that function where you can put in your email address and they'll notify you when it's in. So that's a really helpful thing that I found. And from what I hear, a lot of those stores are using that as helps to try to order things. So when they know there's a big demand for something, there a lot of people are waiting for it, they'll order more of them. So you can help your stores bring in what you want by filling out that little notification thing. So you can see I'm speeding up as I'm going through the hair because this is not about hair. This is about the skin tones, but I'm just throwing a lot of different colors in there. When I was filming this, it was so hot in my house. Oh my gosh. I live in Washington and it has been ridiculously warm here for the last few months. This is early summer. We usually don't get warm weather until July and it's been May and May and June have been crazy, crazy warm. So my apologies for not writing all these numbers down. I was just melting, especially when it came to finishing the card, because by the time that was all done, I was completely melted into a puddle. So here is the crazy card. It's one of those magic reveal cards that has been around for ages. And I have never made one in all these years and I really have wanted to. So I thought this would be a fun one to do. There was no tutorial that showed how to do what I wanted to do. So I made this up. This is like the worst paper engineering ever, but I have a tag that I made out of black paper. I attached my acetate to the, the top of it and stamped with the stays on on the acetate. So I've got the image in black on the acetate and glued my image behind it. It's all fit, fitting. So it's going to go through that little window on my four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. This is some four by four white cardstock that I'm creating for the insert in between the frame. And I needed to build some sort of a little channel for my tag so it wouldn't wiggle all over the place. So I, I did it with dimensional adhesive. This top one, along with this other piece that's on the tag, are going to serve as a catch. So I'm not going to peel the backing off of those. I don't, I want the dimension, but I don't want the sticky. So I'm just going to peel the sticky off the other three so I can adhere, adhere to the card with that. And then the other two are just going to stay as they are. And hopefully it's going to make sense as I do this. So I'm attaching it on the two sides and the bottom. And then I'm going to slip in before I press that down. I'm going to slip in the back only of the tag and let the acetate hang over the front. And I know this seems a little weird, but you'll it'll make sense, I hope. So as I open the um, the tag and I pull the tag out, the image will be revealed, but it's going to catch so that it slide, it stays in the card and it doesn't fall back out because a recipient will never know how to stick it in the right way so that it does the little magic thing again. So I also did some extra adhesive on the front to, to stick that black panel on the black frame. And I, I put it on either side so that it also helped to create that channel for that whole tag to slide down. And it means this is a seriously thick card. So I figured if it's already thick, I'm gonna put a giant bow on the top of it because I'm gonna hand this one to someone personally anyway, or put it in a box or something because it is like crazy big, but it came out so stinking cute anyway. And I love how pulling it out just reveals that really sweet little, little Im colored image with all those beautiful faces. So here is the finished one the before and the after, the open and the closed, and I hope you go to my website and download that handout. So remember, if you want to join in this human rainbow campaign that I'm starting, then be sure to tag whatever you color with other skin tones with the human rainbow, and let's see what we can come up with. List your colors so we can all learn from you. And here are two other videos that I've done with some Copic coloring on them if you want to see something else. You can also subscribe, please do that. And up in the upper right hand corner, there's either an annotation or a little round circle that you can click on even with mobile to get to my blog to go get that handout. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Bye bye.